Welcome to Welty Every 7th, Wednesday, December 14th. I got my first DoorDash picked up already. Order looked like this. Um, these videos are different than the rest of the things you see on my channel. These are very uncut videos. I'm just talking. In my other videos, we have a goal. I'm trying to crush an objective. You know, we're doing something maybe fun involved or, or unique. I try and edit those videos down so that they're precise and enjoyable to watch. But these Welty Every 7th episodes, they're more just uh, your uh, ride-along type. You're just listening to me talk about a topic. This is episode two. If you missed the one last week, we talked about my work history and kind of what got me into gig work and uh, making YouTube videos. This week, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're talking about what's with the hat. Explain it. I've had people ask me in the comments about the hat and sunglasses, why I always have sunglasses up top, even when I'm, I'm inside my own house. You know, I've got this vibe going on with the hat and sunglasses. So I'm gonna answer. If you got questions for me or a, a topic you want me to address in a Welty Every 7th episode, just leave it down below in the comments and uh, I will consider it. All right, I gotta make drop number one. It's for Danielle. Danielle? Okay. Yeah, thank you so I'll much. Y'all have a good day. You too. So the sunglasses, I joke and I tell people that, you know, I need them up here on top of my hat at all times, just in case. Uh, because I never know when my bright future is going to show up. My future is so bright, I better have my sunglasses ready, baby. Obviously, that's just to be funny. I feel like a lot of times I find that it's too bright for me. I, I, maybe I've got sensitive eyesight. I don't know. But like when I walk out of church every Sunday morning, you know, it's like pretty dark in the large room we have service in. And then the, I feel like they open up the doors and the sun just like slaps you in the face after an hour and a half of being in a pretty you know, dark room. And I do a lot of driving, you know, and there's a lot of times where it's it's bright and it makes it difficult to see. So I just, I wear sunglasses a lot of the time and they just sit so naturally atop the hat. It's like, why not have them around just in case they just sit up on top of the hat and uh, they don't bother me until I have a time where I need them and then I've got them. The hat, it's not really a funny reason. It's more of a, um, I don't know. It's just, the hat's been a thing for me since I was 11 or 12 probably. I've worn a hat every single day of my life since that point. And for most of my life, until this year, that would be a Bulls hat, primarily. Primarily a Bulls hat, a Chicago Bulls hat. You guys know, um, I mean, in, in the videos from the first half of this year, I'm wearing a Bulls hat in basically all those videos. The only reason I switched over now to a uh, Charlotte Hornets hat, there you go, is because we became uh, Charlotte Hornets season ticket holders as an investment. So I say that we became minority owners of the basketball team. And of course, I'm gonna support a team that I'm financially uh, tied to. I get a benefit out of them succeeding financially. So I root for them now. Here, I brought several hats to show you guys. This is the Bulls hat that you guys saw me wearing a lot of the videos earlier this year. I keep all my hats because they have like sentimental value to me. I attach so many memories to them. I'll show you guys the, the Bulls hat that I had previously. Um, that's the hat that I met my wife in. That hat I wore every day for I what might've been about a decade. I'm not kidding you guys. And I didn't realize how dirty that hat was because I just got used to it. You know, it's like when you get taller, you don't really notice that you're getting taller because it, the, the progress is so incremental, you don't really notice it. But that's how it is on the dirtiness of a hat too. So I'm gonna show you guys this hat. I wore this hat literally all across the country. I did a, a road trip going west. So this hat's been everywhere. It was my favorite hat. Here we go, check it out. There's the original Bulls hat. I mean, this thing is absolutely disgusting. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Here we go on the inside. Oh man, here. Look at the stain on that bad boy. You can tell up in the front where I sweat. Oh my goodness. That's awesome though, I love this hat. Here we are at Empire Pizza. I've picked up DoorDash number two. And then pretty close to where we're dropping this one off 
I've got a Grubhub pickup as our third order. So we're doing well so far. First three deliveries gonna be pretty back to back to back. Here I have some of my Bears hats. I'm still a Bears fan because I don't have, you know, financial interest in another team. Here's another uh, Hornets hat that you guys see me wear sometimes on the videos. Here's my Chicago Cubs hat that I still wear. Still support the Cubs, unfortunately. Here's another Bulls hat. This one I would wear backwards. I think you guys have seen me wear this in some videos too. Um, here's my hat. Got this uh, college of Charleston. I went to university for one year before I dropped out. So I kept my hat from them. Here's a hat I got from Walmart when I was working there. And then here's my MAGA hat. Because of course, gotta have one of those. There's a little bit of proof for you that these gas prices aren't my fault. There's a lot of practical reasons for the hat and then sunglasses up top, in my opinion. First of all, my hair does not cooperate with me. I get haircuts pretty infrequently in the interest of saving money. I, I'll get a haircut maybe two to three times a year. My hair grows very fast too, that's the other problem. But if I wear a hat, I can kind of shape my hair to look somewhat similar. You can tell when it's longer or shorter. You know, you can tell when I've recently had a haircut, but what ends up happening is my hair will just get longer and longer and longer and, and it'll still, at, at a certain point, look the same with my hat on if I style it to look the same. It gets to the point where like I'll take my hat off for the final time to actually get a haircut and it, it's it's kind of amazing how long my hair is in the end. Uh, people are always pretty stunned at what I've got stuffed under the hat. I've also, for like a lot of my life, I've had this internal hunch that I was going to be a pretty meaningful person. So that's been another thing that I've thought is like, let me have this signature staple look to me as, as if um, one day somebody might see a silhouette of me and still be able to identify me. Some people will call that narcissistic. I think it's good advertising, good brand management. You know, it's, so this is like, it's part of me at this point. It, it's a body part. Hey there, Kristen. Yes. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Thank you oh, so much. Enjoy. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Just delivered that Grubhub, as you saw. Next, DoorDash looks like this. About to go pick it up. At a certain point, I feel like the hat became a point of defiance. And, uh, like, it meant something to me to wear it because so many places didn't want me to wear it. And I was like, why? It's a hat. I feel like I look better with it. What's the... <laughs> What's the problem? Like in school, they, they wouldn't want me to wear it. So in, in middle school, they had like a full uniform. I'm talking collared shirt, khaki pants type deal. And that's in a public school. I don't, I don't understand that situation, but um, so I feel like there I didn't wear the hat anywhere except outside. Once I got to high school, I started to gain a sense of self respect and self worth and I started just refusing to comply. Even then, like it would take a couple years, but by the time I was a senior, the school rules just, they weren't gonna apply to me. That's how I felt. I know, I, that, you know, that's my high school mind. I felt, you know, I don't cause any problems here. My grades are good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much do what I wanna do, especially at, at 18 years old. I think I approached my senior year very much like, you know, I didn't have to be there. So if I was going to be there, it was kind of going to be my way. I had the credits to graduate a year early and I opted to go back to high school only because I wanted to for that final year. Uh, so I, but I felt like, you know, if I'm here, not because I have to be here, but because I want to be here, I'm going to be able to do things that I want to do, you know? Picked up that DoorDash. Same customer got both of these bags here, so I think we got we got tipped additionally because of that or something. I don't know. Hi. Hey there, for KDB. Yes, thank there you, you so much. Y'all have a good one. You too. The scenario that bonded me most to the hat was after high school. I was a full-fledged adult. Okay, I already been wearing the hat 
every day of my life for about a decade at this point. And by the way, I've stopped accepting offers because I don't want to deliver in the rain. So I'll just tell you guys this story on the way home. I'm in South Carolina. My uncle in Illinois is dying. So several of us decide we're going to go and uh, spend some time with him. And uh, so it was me, my dad, that uncle, another uncle, and their dad, my grandfather. We're all just hanging out as men. All right, I just pulled up at home because I wanted uh, there to be no background noise and for me to be able to focus on the storytelling. So what you need to know about the Welties and that the extended Welty family is you got your, it's a result of how the grandparents parented their kids. So you got your Catholics that bought into the parenting. You got your atheists that didn't buy into it and were in fact so turned off by it that they became not religious at all which is why i have a problem with the catholic church because that's such that's a common result and then i'm sure you got a small third group of the people that are atheists but act like the catholics because they want to be socially accepted by the grandparents that, that's what i think in the catholic practices it's very easy to just repeat the service with everybody else and, and act like you're with it when you're really not you know it's it's not difficult to pretend I'm just a straight up Christian. I completely reject the atheist anti-God ideology and I completely reject the Catholic anti-Bible uh, ideology. There's just too much of the Catholic theology that's completely opposed or ignores what the Bible clearly states. So I'm, I'm super not with basically everybody in my family on an ideological level. So I'm hanging out with them in Illinois and what becomes the final months of my uncle's life. And um, they go to church on Sunday morning. It's Catholic church, obviously. I'm invited to go. Of course, I'm going to wear my hat because that's what I do when I go to church, right? That's what I do. So we get in the car. I'm in the car with my grandfather and he goes, you're not going to wear that hat in church. And I said, you know, you can bet that I will. That that's why I wore it in the car. I'm, I'm going to wear it in the church. And he says, no, you're not. You're not going to do that. Yeah, that's disrespectful to me and, and to the church. And I said, man, you know, let's we can talk about something else. I'm not going to argue about it. This is not something that I'm willing to discuss. We get to the church. I walk inside. He's behind me. And uh, as soon as I step off the steps and into the building, he grabs my hat from behind me, off my head, throws it on the ground. <laughs> not Not kidding, you guys. I pick my hat back up, and on my way back up, he looks at me and he says, you will not be in here. You will not be in here if you're going to wear the hat. And I said, you know what? Fine. I, okay, I don't want to be in here then. If that if that's how y'all play the game, I'm not going to play it. So he kicks me out of the church, and I spend that hour and a half sitting outside on a bench by myself. Nobody else. This is another reason why I, I'm not happy with the Welties at all. Consistently, I will stand up for something that's a strong belief of mine. And while there can't, it, it, I can't be the only person that feels certain things, but I'm the only person who's vocal about it. Not a single person will stand up for me. So I did that alone. If that, if I had witnessed that happen to somebody else, you can bet that I'm not going to be in that church either. Even if I'm not wearing a hat, even if I think there might be some validity to the hat being disrespectful in a Catholic church, I'm not going to sit through the service. I'm going to go sit with that person that just got thrown out of the church. I'm going to be with that person. Nobody decided to do that for me because I don't matter. I'm not respected. I feel like once you go through something like that, wearing a hat, you become so attached to it and so devoted to it. And you feel like you've been persecuted on behalf of the hat. There's just a level of commitment to the hat and sunglasses that uh, nobody would know that I have. Unless they asked me about it, unless they knew the story, it's just, it's powerful to me at this point. I just feel like it's me. And if it's me without a hat and sunglasses on, it's it's not really me. So in my rise to fame here, whatever level of fame that becomes, maybe I've already maxed out on YouTube and this is as famous as I'm going to become. I, I highly doubt it though, but on my rise, when I do things and go places that somebody wouldn't traditionally wear... <laughs> sneakers tennis shoes and a hat and sunglasses um and i'm the one wearing that don't be surprised because i'm not gonna go to formal places and uh 
just become like everybody else and not wear a hat just because they don't want me to. This is what it is. If, if I get invited somewhere, you're inviting me with the hat. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Am I, am I petty? Is that weird? Is it strange? Or do you support me to be me? Thank you guys for uh, listening to this episode of Welty Every 7th. We'll do this again next week. But I will see you guys before then on a video. It won't take me an entire week to upload. So I'll see you then on Welty.